Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys may know me as I'm Golden Candy, and my name is Siliana, and I'm a mama now. And looking at the title, you already know what I'm going to be talking about, you know what this is going to be about, and yeah, let's get into it. I've done a question and poll on Instagram to see what questions you guys ask me. So I done the first one and I didn't really like it because I was like, there's not enough stuff. It's like, I, I didn't feel like I was educating you guys. I felt like I was just talking about the pregnancy aspect while there's the sickle cell aspect as well. So let's get into it. How did you find out? So one night <laughs> i'm with my girls and i'm like guys i feel like i'm pregnant and they're like no nah, like you're bugging like you've been having fun like i was drinking i was having fun i was going out with my friends like i was living life so i'm thinking nah i feel like i am like i was just having this mad like gut instinct i kept thinking like i know like something's up something's up but anyways i'm just being quiet whatever so i feel like a couple of days after in the night my belly starts rumbling and it's rumbling and rumbling and rumbling and rumbling and the noise that it was making my stomach does not make that noise like my belly was like <clears throat> And I look at the time, because i got this thing on my wall. So I look at the time, and I'm like, it's 3 a.m. And I, I was dead ass hungry. Like, I wanted to eat. So that's when I was like, yeah, okay, this is confirmation. I know now something's up. So <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm with my cousin. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do a test. Let me just do a test just to see. I do that test and I tell you that pregnancy thingy name thingy pregnancy pregnant came up came up straight it came up straight and I was just like okay who and I didn't really know how to process it like I didn't know if I was just I don't know, I wasn't crying, I wasn't shocked, I wasn't angry, I wasn't upset, I was just neutral, I was straight, I was like, you know what, I knew what I was doing anyway, so it's not that deep, and I've been taking care of myself, so if I'm good, I know, like, I can take care of a baby with the little that I have, like, so, yeah, and that's how I found out. Did you plan your pregnancy? No, my pregnancy was not planned, but it's planned now and it's worked out amazing. It's been beautiful. So that's all that matters. Like, I ain't stressing. I didn't plan it, but you don't plan everything. Life throws things at you. And I feel like this is what I needed anyways for me. Cravings. I haven't had crazy cravings. I've just let stuff like that. My food has to have salad. Like, there's no way I'm eating and there's no salad. Like, I need to have my salad. I need to have, like, greens. That's definitely something I'm doing. I just want random food, like lasagna. Like, the other day I wanted lasagna at 3 a.m. My partner made lasagna at 3 a.m. That's it. Like, I just be having food cravings but not crazy cravings like i need this right now i need salt and pepper like when no nah, let me not lie when i was in sweden for the first three no yeah for the first three months i had egg boiled egg and spice like if you're angolan like you know what that is like you know the combination there's i don't even need to explain what it is egg spicy leng but I had that for the first few months and orange and soul. Yo, that was my shit. That was my shit. I'm gonna get up and make that. Pain, let me not lie, I'm always, always having back pain. Like that's, 
just I feel like that's just a thing like I have really, 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 like, really bad back pain. Has pregnancy changed you? Most definitely. Like, there's no way it hasn't changed me. I'm so you know, careful. Not just that, I've got this peace in my heart. Like, it's crazy. At first, I was in denial because of just, like, previous experiences in life. Like, I've wanted a child before and it just didn't happen that way so I was a bit in denial but it's just like I have peace like it's changed me in a way where I'm happy and I just deal with shit like if I have something to do I have to do it now because it's like someone's counting on me I ain't got the excuse to just go off and do what the fuck I want nah I I gotta fix up. So yeah, it's changed me in that aspect. I'm a woman now. I would say like, I'm grown. I'm big grown now. And I feel like a lady. Do you doubt yourself? I doubted myself in the beginning because I was like, I have sickle cell. I'm in the hospital a lot. How am I gonna take care of this baby? Like, how? How is this gonna work out for me? I'm with my partner now. But that wasn't the case in the beginning so it was just like what am I gonna do and you know when you got your mum there like it's different like my mum ain't here so I was doubting that I was like at least if I had my mum like I'd be able to lean on her and learn so much so quickly with her but now it's like I gotta do this shit on my own like uh, in the beginning I did doubt myself but not now. Now I'm good. I know I'm good. And I know baby's good. And I know my family's good. So no. I don't doubt myself. Am I scared? Yes. Like, scared like. Shit. I've got a baby. Like I've got someone. Like someone's in here. Like. Dead someone's in here. Like. <sighs> Me, little me, is pregnant, girl. I'm big proud of myself, so I do get scared. It's normal, it's human, but it's not my first emotion when it comes to my pregnancy. How's crisis been at home? It's been terrible. I do, I tried, like, I tried my best to record, like, this small clip of me having chest pains, and I was alone, I was feeling sick, and I ended up going to hospital, and then it happened again, and I was like, okay, there's a pattern, so I got a little bit of it on tape, because I wanted to show my doctors, and I'll just share that with you guys as well, so you guys can see, like, I look bust down, broke down, I'm being sick. Like, I really, really do not feel good. So I'm gonna try and set that video in so you guys can see. It's been real difficult and you can't take all the medications that you wanna take and also you don't wanna be taking medications anyways at full stop, like, you don't want that. So it's hard because you're in that middle where you're like, you're in so much pain and you're crying so, 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 so much. And then you're thinking like, I'm not trying to poison my child with morphine and paracetamol and all these drugs. Like, they say it's okay, but I don't feel like a creation should be taking such heavy medication. And for me, my pain is so high, I take a lot of it. So if I'm taking that, baby's taking it. So it just puts your mind in perspective where you're like, I gotta firm this. Like, there's gotta be a way, somehow, some way, I can firm this. Like, and medications, what I'm on now, I'm literally on penicillin, folic acid. I just started aspirin. Um, I started some blood clotting injections, and I think that's it. Yo, one thing I want to say, pregnancy brain is so real. It's like my my head is empty. Like, I have to write down everything I need to do in the day or else I will forget 
and that's not me like what how do you deal with a crisis whilst being pregnant um it's really painful i'm not gonna lie to you um it is hard you will cry you will break down it will feel like you want to give up but you gotta be mentally strong and you gotta pray yo you gotta pray because Pregnancy is not a joke and it's not easy for everyone, so you've got to pray. When pregnant, are you at risk of having more episodes or does it calm down a bit? When you're pregnant, you're 10 times more at risk of so many things. Like, they don't talk about it and it's real. Like, you can have organ failure, you can get thrombosis. Like, there's so many things out there that exist. And especially with sickle cell and you're pregnant, it's a lot on your body. So yeah, you will have more like risks, definitely. And a lot of episodes will be triggered. How early were you able to detect if your baby also carries a sickle cell trait? So your first trimester is when you can do a blood test for sickle cell thalassemia, okay? Both of them. You can do a blood test and you can ask them to test you and your partner. So you find, you can do it really early. And that's what I did with my partner. Like, I got him to do the test as soon as, like, I found out and as soon as I told him. If you have an episode, can it harm your baby? Um, yeah, definitely. Because if I faint, if I hurt myself, if I fall forward, like, there's times that I feel so weak, I'm in so much pain, I can't breathe, I can't get myself to calm down, I just, I let go yeah there is a potential i could harm my baby but we pray to god that will not happen can you still have episodes when pregnant if so are they the same or more or less severe i would definitely say they're more severe they're very painful and um it's taken a lot it's taken a lot for me to be like yeah firm this it hurts bad in what ways does sickle cell affect your pregnancy sickle cell definitely does affect my pregnancy though because i'm on six weekly transfusions which means i need a certain type of blood and i have to do it often i get weak do you have to take extra meds yes i have to take extra meds i have to take aspirin and a daily injection for blood clotting and i will continue with those till my labour and after, six weeks after. How has it, pregnancy impacted you? Pregnancy has definitely changed my aspects in everything, like the way I eat, the way I sleep, um, the way I talk, the way I act, everything you will change. Like, you're not yourself. Like, you're, I'm not me, I'm we right now. So just that, it changes you. So it's a big impact and yeah. It's impacted me heavily, but I like it. I like having the responsibility. I like the new chapter. I like, I like it. I like changes. Is your boyfriend a sickler? No. Have you had any crisis pain? Yes. Do you have to have a C-section? No. I can have a normal labour, just depending on what happens on the day. And with sickle cell, you never know. You can feel really really good and then all of a sudden you have to have a c-section or you have a crisis so you never you never know do you have crisis or panic attack frequently i have crises a lot that's one thing i can say i have them quite often um but i've been managing really well at home and i'm actually extremely proud of myself for that I'm really, really proud of myself. Will your child be likely to get sickle cell? So that's the other thing that we don't know. We know that because my partner doesn't have sickle cell, I have sickle cell, my baby still has a percentage of carrying the trait or not. And to be honest, for me, that's a blessing. Just even having my child here is a blessing and then my child just doesn't have sickle cell and if they do carry the trait they can just be careful and find someone that doesn't carry the trait it's really that simple and i feel like that's a blessing i have pins and needles i have pins and needles 
are you more at risk of having the baby early because of sickle cell yes most definitely um i won't carry full term and my labor is going to be induced for safety reasons for baby and for me is it harder since you have sickle cell my doctor said it would be most definitely um like your pregnancy like your body's different already and then you got pain and you got a condition you feel like you're doing overload like there's a lot going on like your breasts are getting bigger your belly's getting bigger your back hurts because you're carrying this weight so your spine is going in and if you've got back pains already with the sickle cell it's a lot so there's a lot going on at once you just you gotta be mentally prepared for that honestly because i wasn't and i still ain't but i'm fighting i'm fighting not long left i have sickle cell i'm actually pregnant what are some things i should know and some things you should know definitely change your diet from the beginning do you exercise get yourself out of bed because you will feel like shit when you do feel like shit let yourself feel like shit stay in bed a day that's it get up make yourself look good because i know that you're insecure and you're gonna feel this big insecurity come over you out of nowhere and it comes with pregnancy that's what i realized because I'm insecure genuinely as a person by myself, like without being pregnant. I'm insecure, but it doesn't get to me. But when you're pregnant, like it will get to you. So that's something you should know. You're going to be insecure. You're going to feel out of place. There's a lot of changes. A lot of changes. Your body acts different. So you got to be quick on picking up. Okay, my body's going to be like this for the next so and so months let's go let me make my life easier like you gotta study your body real quick that's something you definitely should know do you know when you're gonna die no i'm not even offended it's just reading that is a bit mad to me but no i don't know when i'm gonna die what type are you i'm ss how has pregnancy affected your body crisis wise crisis wise it's just very 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 painful how has your pregnancy impacted you on your journey? I explained earlier. How do you manage a crisis? Like, is there any medicine you can take to reduce the pain? I literally can only take paracetamol or morphine. And I really try to avoid morphine and try to avoid paracetamol. Do you still have transfusions now that you're pregnant? Yes, I still have them six weekly through my port. Um, if you guys want to know what my port is, and why I got it done, I can actually make a video about it. So you guys let me know what you think and um, comment down below. Sorry, I'm itchy, like, I'm pregnant. I'm gonna do what the fuck I'm gonna do on screen. Like, I'm not even gonna hide. I be itching myself, so I don't know why I'm trying to act all brand new on camera. Camera. What is the pain like? Sickle cell pain for me. It feels like burning, it feels like knives, it feels like fire, it's crazy, like, it is crazy. Do you feel like having a baby now with your sickle cell condition adds pressure? Definitely. I feel like that is the biggest question of it all. I feel so pressured and I feel so like, I've got to do things right now, I can't make a mistake. But I realised life is about learning. You're going to make mistakes in order to learn. And it's actually okay. Like, you don't always have to force yourself to be perfect. And you know what? I can't be shocked because at a certain point in my life, I knew I wanted to have a baby. I knew the risks. I knew how much change there was going to be. I knew everything would be different, you know? So... I like the fact that I have the pressure because it drives me and it makes me want to be a great mom. Basically answered everything, guys. You guys are asking me really good questions. I think we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched all the way, your homegirl is pregnant. 
and I'm happy like I'm super happy and I'm healthy and baby's healthy we're good over here we're good on this side my baby mama <laughs> she oh 